Number 10. Underworld figures Gordon Goody and Buster Edwards based the heist on this information bringing in accomplices Bruce Reynolds, Ronnie Biggs, Charlie Wilson, and Roy James. The men later brought in members of the South Coast Raiders, a gang experienced in rigging train signals in order to stop engines. The train came to a stop at a red signal outside Leighton Buzzard, Buckinghamshire, in the early hours of August 8, 1963. The train driver, named Mills, became embroiled in a tussle with one of the robbers, overpowering him before he was hit over the head with a kosh by another member of the gang. Mills was then made to drive the train down the line to a designated spot where the sackfuls of money could be unloaded. In total, 128 sacks, weighing 2.5 tons, were moved off the train and the gang had fled the scene within 30 minutes. The gang then drove to a farmyard barn where they began to distribute the money between themselves. They were all arrested within the next five years. Ronnie Biggs later escaped prison, and lived in Australia and Brazil for over 35 years. Number 9. D.B. Cooper is a media epithet popularly used to refer to the hijacker of a Boeing 727 aircraft in Washington, on November 24, 1971. Utilizing knowledge that was virtually unique to the CIA, he escaped by parachute with over a million dollars at current values. A massive search involving a thousand troops, a submarine, and high-tech photo recon spy planes failed to find any trace. After decades of fruitless inquiries, the lead investigators began to publicly suggest Cooper had been killed and all physical evidence lost in the wilderness, although the FBI nonetheless continued the hunt for Cooper until 2016, when he would have been 90 years old. Number 8. Considered to be one of the largest bank heists of history in the world, it took place in August 6, 2005, in Banco Central Fortaleza, Brazil as a part of significant planning by a gang of hooglas. According to sources, the gang rented a property near to the bank, from where they made a tunnel of over 250 feet to the bank's vault. They used a signboard indicating that the property was a landscaping company, and removed massive amounts of dirt and rocks making it look as a part of business to the residents. The tunnel was well built with plastic and wood, having its own lighting and air conditioning system, it took them three months to dig the whole tunnel, after which finally they entered the bank's vault, removed five containers of 50 real notes of estimated value of 70 million US dollar or 165 million Brazilian reals. The robbers were even successful in disabling the bank's internal alarms and sensors. Police arrested five men for this heist on September 28 along with 5.4 million dollars of money. Since then, only around $7 million money has been recovered but rest of the $63 million remains at loss. Number 7. A group of thieves known as the Vacuum Gang, have figured out a devious way to rob French supermarkets, specifically Monoprix supermarkets, using just a drill and a powerful vacuum cleaner. The key to the thieves' nearly uninterrupted streak of success, is the way that Monoprix delivers money from the checkouts to its safes envelopes of cash are funneled in, through pneumatic suction tubes. Whereas breaching the safe itself might be considerably difficult, requiring explosives or safe cracking, the thieves realized that if they just drilled into the delivery tubes near the safe box and hooked up a powerful vacuum, they could suck the money out and get at it much more easily. Number 6. In 1978, Half a dozen armed robbers in ski masks raided the Lufthansa Airlines cargo building at John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York, and made off with $5 million in cash and almost $1 million in jewelry. That's about $21 million in today's dollars. Robbers first captured a senior cargo agent, who was forced to call the night shift cargo traffic manager, Rudy Eyreich, and tell him to come upstairs. Two gunmen were waiting for him. They instructed him to open the vault so they could steal the millions worth of cash and jewelry inside. You can watch the scene in the movie Goodfellas. Number 5. A Russian hacking ring has stolen an estimated $1 billion from banks in one year. The hackers use a number of techniques to gain access to a bank's systems, 
learn about the bank's operations, and then use that knowledge to transfer money through fake accounts, even programming ATMs to dispense money at specific times. The hacking ring never takes more than $10 million from a bank before moving on to the next, targeting over 100 banks in 30 countries, and remaining undiscovered to this day. Number 4. On the morning of December 10, 1968, four employees of the Neon Shintaku Ginkgo Bank in Japan, transported 300 million yen, about $1 million at the time, in the trunk of a company car. They were stopped in the street next to a Tokyo prison, by a young uniformed officer on a police motorcycle. The police officer informed them that their branch manager's house had been blown up, and they had received a warning that dynamite had been planted in the transport car. The four employees exited the vehicle, while the officer crawled under the car to locate the bomb. Moments later, the employees noticed smoke and flames under the car as the officer rolled out, shouting that it was about to explode. When the employees retreated to the prison walls, the police officer got into the car and drove away. Number 3. The Antwerp Diamond Heist, dubbed the heist of the century, was up to that point one of the largest diamond heists in history. The thieves stole loose diamonds, gold, and other jewelry valued at more than $100 million. The heist took place in February 2003. It included creating access to the safe deposit box located in the vault beneath the building. The method also provided a tenant ID card offering 24-hour access to the building. There they posed as Italian diamond merchants in order to gain credibility. After the robbery, the team called School of Turin, stole the security footage to conceal their identities. More than 123 out of 160 safe deposit boxes were forced open, each of which was made of steel and copper and had both a key lock and combination lock. This was a technique pioneered by New York City-based Serbian criminal authority Mr. Stan, Vojislav Stanimirovic. Number 2. Regarded as one of the biggest bank heists in history, nearly $1 billion in cash vanished from the Iraq Central Bank in Baghdad, hours before the start of the 2003 Iraq War. None other than Saddam Hussein was behind the robbery. On the eve of the war, the Iraqi dictator gave his son Kusai a handwritten note instructing him to steal the money, which they carried off in flatbed trucks. Number 1. Named after the Pink Panther series of crime comedy films, Pink Panthers is the name given by Interpol to an international jewel thief network, composed of Serbs from Serbia, Montenegro, Croatia, and Bosnia, which is responsible for the most audacious thefts in criminal history. They are responsible for what have been termed some of the most glamorous heists ever, and one criminologist even described their crimes as artistry. They have targeted several countries and continents, mysteriously appeared and disappeared out of thin air, and includes Japan's most successful robbery ever historic amongst their thefts. Some law enforcement agencies suspect that the group is responsible for over $500 million in robberies of gold and diamond in Dubai, Switzerland, Japan, France, Liechtenstein, Germany, United States of America, Luxembourg, Cyprus, Spain, Monaco, Austria, and Australia, as well as Netherlands, Portugal, and Belgium. Law enforcement authorities suspect involvement all over the world. Planning and executing the heist of the jewelry store Harry Winston in Paris, on December 9, 2008 the thieves escaped with more than 80 million euro worth of jewelry.